Hi, and thanks for joining me today. Um, it's far too wet today to go out riding, so I thought I'd do a very quick video on uh, gerbing products, in particular the heated jackets and the heated gloves. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to have a branch of sports bike shop um, quite close to me down Leeds. So I believe it was January at some point this year, um, I bought uh, one of their heated jackets and also the gloves from them. And I soon became aware that it wasn't ideal, uh, the design of the cabling inside the jacket in particular. Um, certainly if you put the heated jacket on and then you were obviously going to wear, wear, wear a, um, an over jacket, in my case uh, it's a rucker jacket that I wear, I found that locating the cables in the cuffs of the heated jacket was virtually impossible uh, in the fact that they were relatively short in length within the zipped pouches on each respective sleeve. Uh, and even if you were lucky enough to find them, to then be able to couple them up successfully, bearing in mind how cumbersome it can be when you've got gloves on in particular, how difficult it was to connect them to the connector cables within the gloves, um, it was a nightmare. So what I decided to do, uh, I took them both back to sports bike shop, explained the problem, and unfortunately they weren't very sympathetic, they didn't seem to particularly acknowledge or understand the issues I was having, uh, so they gave me a refund on them. However, not one wanting to be thwarted by something that could easily and should easily be so easily rectifiable, I thought I'll give Gerbing uh, a call um, and see what they suggest. So I spoke to customer services at Gerbing and they were extremely helpful and they explained to me that all stores uh, should be aware of the solution to this problem that some people, not everybody, but some people may experience depending obviously on their arm length and the options are quite simply that within the jacket itself and I'll just get my jacket and just show you this so within the jacket itself there is a zipped section this is on the left side of the interior of the jacket and if you unzip this section here it then allows you access to the cabling that goes down the left and the right arm um, and currently when you buy them from new there is a very small um, like cable tie that secures the cabling in position and prevents it from dropping too far down into the little pouch on each respective cuff. However, Gerbing said the simple way to resolve that issue, if you need more length in the cabling, is literally just to either slacken off, or if you do what I did, I completely removed the cable tie. And now I've got a beautiful length of cabling there, which is more than long enough to reach well beyond the cuffs, as you can see, and there's still a little bit of slack there. Uh, and then there's, as I said, there's ample length there for that to then fit into uh, the receiving end of the cable from the gloves. So I'll just put those to one side. So within the glove, internally, there's a very small uh, zipped section. And there you have the receiving uh, plug if you like uh, but that is quite short and it's purposely short I believe in order that it can uh, snugly fit into the pouch because if obviously if you had a lot of cabling there um, even though it was wound up it could end up pressing on your hand and being quite uncomfortable so doing what I did with the cable it gives you that extra length and it then just quite simply allows you to connect the two cables up so as I said, loads of cable there. That's on the left arm, obviously. Um, it's slightly shorter, perhaps, but not necessarily noticeably so on the right-hand side. But that's just the way the cabling is obviously connected to the jacket internally. So one other useful thing that Gerbin did discuss with me, that if you do not feel confident um, doing that slight amendment or alteration to the jacket yourself, if you measure the length of extra cable that you need in order for it to comfortably come beyond the cuffs of your outer jacket 
and um, connect up to the uh, cabling, the receiving cable in your gloves without fear of the two coming apart in the general wrist movements and so forth. Measure it up, send your jackets back to Gerbing and they will actually replace the cabling within your jacket to your desired cable length and they'll do all that free of charge. Uh, so that is customer service for you. Uh, another option that Gerbing did offer is that they will send out to you, again, totally free of charge, two receiving um, sort of like adapter cables, if you like. So if you don't feel comfortable cutting through the cable tie that's retaining the cable in the left sleeve of your jacket, then what they will do is they'll send you these um, extension cables which you can quite simply just plug in left and right on the cuffs and again that will as you can see there hopefully will give you ample room um, to go from where your connecting cuffs would probably be within the jacket through to the gloves so uh, so that's it really um, I've seen a few videos on YouTube where people have been struggling and they've been coming up with all sorts of configurations and fancy maneuvers uh, in order to be able to connect the two. But that seems very simple. Um, so either do it yourself, uh, it's literally a two or three minute job. Just be careful that you don't cut through the electrical cables in the sleeve. Or alternatively, as I said, if you don't feel comfortable doing yourself, set measure it what you need, send it back to Gerbing, um, and they will then uh, replace the cabling free of charge. Or alternatively, go for the adapter cables. I will put on screen a uh, screenshot of an email which I got from Gerbing confirming what I've just said so that if anybody has any qualms or doubts about what I've said it's there in black and white for you to have a look at. Um, please feel free if you like the video uh, please do give me a thumbs up leave a comment. Uh, if you've also experienced problems perhaps in the length of your cabling uh, between your, uh, your heated clothing, your gloves and uh, jacket and so forth, leave a comment, let me know how you've resolved it. It may be that you've got some other solution that might also work. Um, I'll be interested to see what people have to say. Uh, thanks very much for watching and if you like what I do, please hit the subscribe button and um, I will hopefully, as soon as the weather improves, it's terrible raining today and we've got some high winds, but as soon as the weather improves, I do intend to get back out for another ride, possibly up to the lakes or somewhere like that. So keep your eyes peeled for that. But obviously, if you do subscribe, then you'll be notified uh, as and when that comes out. Okay, thanks everybody and uh, take care and stay safe.